I am so excited you're here because I have several high-end farmhouse DIYs using cheap Timu items. So if that's something you're interested in, then just keep watching. And I would also like to thank Timu for sponsoring today's video. So I want to thank y'all for joining me. I am so excited. And if you have never heard of Timu, Timu is an online marketplace that offers the most competitively priced products in multiple categories, such as fashion, jewelry, home decor, pet supplies. Y'all, they have so many categories to choose from. There's literally something for everybody. They offer top quality products at an ultra affordable price so that everybody can enjoy the conveniences and comforts of life. To learn more, you can visit timu.com or my favorite way to shop is actually the app. It's super easy to navigate and they literally have something for everybody, like I said. So I got my Timu box and I was so excited. I'm going to do a little unboxing for y'all. Now in this box, I did get some clothes as well, which in the next video, I'm going to show you guys a try on haul. That way you can kind of see the items that I purchased versus what I actually got. Um, so I'm super excited to bring that to y'all. If y'all want to see that, let me know down in the comment section. I already DIY'd with this little heart wreath. If you guys have seen that video, um, then you know what I'm talking about. If not, I can link that in the cards in the right hand corner. But I just made over this little Dollar Tree truck and then stuck it on my Timu wreath. And look how absolutely gorgeous it turned out. The quality is top notch. And I love the fact that they always run specials for free shipping. Plus, new users get free shipping right off the bat. You also get free returns for 90 days, which I absolutely love. The return process is super easy. Um, Timu's products have really high quality performance at just a fraction of the price. And they also accept all major credit cards and debit cards, plus PayPal, Google Pay, Apple Pay, and even pay later programs like Klarna and Afterpay. Last but not least, I always get questions, is it legit? Yes, Timu is absolutely 100% legit, and I usually get my items within one to two weeks, so really not a long wait time at all. So we're gonna start off with DIY number one. Now, I'm gonna take these wood rounds that I got from Timu, and as you saw there, they were $14.39, and it came with five of them. However, I used a coupon and got it for even less. So, and they are, they are actually a lot thicker than the Dollar Tree ones as well. So I did just want to mention that. But I'm going to start off by painting it with my white Waverly chalk paint. And I do not give it a heavy coat. I dry that with my blow dryer because y'all know I'm super impatient. And then I'm going to take this wood stencil and the little chip brushes that I got from Timu and I'm going to take my antique wax by Waverly and just start by patting in that wax into the stencil. Now I don't really like the plastic stencils as much however I absolutely adore the way that this turned out. I will be using this over and over and because it's plastic it literally will never get ruined. So I do totally totally like that aspect of it plus it was super cheap as well so once i um did some of it i realized that i could just kind of like paint this wax on and then just make sure that it got in the part where the stencil opens up like the wood part and it worked out just fine so i started by stenciling on that faux wood down the bottom and then once that was completely covered then I did have to move over and finish the side and the top but it was no big deal I didn't have to wash it or anything it worked perfectly
once my faux wood was stenciled on. Then I took this little metal piece. Now I forgot to hit the record, so I'm going to show you exactly what I did. But I took my large chip brush and some white Waverly chalk paint, and I just kind of toned that down. Um, I didn't like how bright it was. I like the weathered wood look, so I did just dry brush some white over that as well as over this farmhouse metal sign. Look how cute it was. It was super affordable. It's really heavy duty and good quality and I just hot glued that on. Now hindsight is 2020. Y'all know I would definitely definitely use some super glue or some weld bond because I did have to end up using weld bond to hold this down. But once I was done gluing everything down, then I took this eucalyptus that once again I got from Timu and I just kind of lay it on my sign to see kind of how I wanted it. Now I wanted you to be able to see the design really well. So I was very conscious about the placement of my greenery. So I just started by taking two pieces at the bottom right going towards like pointing towards the side and then I repeated that on the left hand side and I also put two pieces up at the top as well gluing that down with hot glue. Now again keep in mind that I got 30% off of my entire order so the prices that you see on the screen take 30% off of that and that is what I paid so I feel like for the price and how much I got of this eucalyptus was an amazing deal plus it looks so realistic. Now I had a piece of eucalyptus laying around that had those little berries on them and I thought that it would be super cute at the top. Since I made a simple bow and glued that down to the bottom, I felt like the top was just missing a little touch. So I did just take the berries off of a different piece of eucalyptus and glue that at the top. And then I also got this beaded garland from Timu and I thought that it would be super cute as a hanger. So all I did was cut the tassels off of the bottom. I removed some of the beads and then I just hot glued that to the back again to make an to make a hanger for my sign. And that was it for this project. Look how gorgeous it turned out. If you pick this up at a high-end store, it would be much more than we paid for it. And I will love to display this for years to come. I know y'all will let me know down in the comments what you think. Would you have switched this sign up or do you love it just the way it is? For DIY number two, y'all know that I love my silk screen transfers. So of course I had to get a farmhouse one and we're gonna use another wood round. So I take a wood round and my new farmhouse transfer and I just kind of mark where I need to paint it and then I tape that off with some painter's tape. Once I had the paint, the painter's tape nice and smooth, y'all know I can't talk, oh my goodness. Once I had the painter's tape nice and smoothed out, then I go ahead and paint the bottom with my white Waverly chalk paint. Once that was completely dry, yes, 
Again, I'm impatient, so I use a blow dryer, but if you have something to do in between, you could totally let this air dry. However, once it was completely dry, I made sure that the edges were painted as well. Then I go ahead and remove my painter's tape. Now, my original thought was to paint the top of this black, but once I peeled back that painter's tape, I absolutely love the way that that natural wood looked. So I just kind of toyed around with the placement. At first, I was going to have some of the wording on top of that natural wood, and then I just ultimately decided to transfer it on completely in the white space. I picked up some squeegees and these little dishes for silk screens and I took some of my black paste into the dish. That's what I actually love this dish for. It worked out perfectly to be able to take some of my paste out of the jar, make sure that it's nice and stirred up because that is the key to having a gorgeous image is to make sure that your paste is super stirred up to squeegee on with even pressure, not too heavy and not too light. And then when you pull up your transfer to pull it up nice and slow. So I really appreciated having this dish to be able to mix it up in. So I just take my stick and put the paste all over the transfer once it was nice and incorporated. And then I use my large squeegee to squeegee that over my silk screen. Now, a few things about these silk screens. They're pretty good quality. Um, they worked really nice. The image came out really crisp and clean and I absolutely love this image so I'm curious to know what you guys think about it. Another pro tip is to make sure that you get all of the excess paste off of your transfer because once you pull it up if you have anything left behind it will leave it clumpy and sometimes the image doesn't transfer on correctly so once I peel back that image I saw that the sides were missing some of that like I don't really know what you want to call it but I y'all know me I'm too OCD to leave it blank so I did just take my transfer lay it over those blank spaces and transfer on those splotches Next, I take this pattern and I lay it up at the top and then I also use painter's tape to tape it off to make sure that I do not transfer any of the pattern onto that white part. Now, I am not going to lie, y'all. I wasn't too sure how this pattern would look with the farmhouse transfer design. However, once I was done squeegeeing all my paste off and putting the excess into my little dish, I was so ecstatic with the way that this looks. I love the patterns together. I don't know about you guys. I know you'll let me know what you think, um, but I absolutely love the way that this looks. Next, I'm going to take this greenery that I also got from Timu at a really great price and I just start by cutting the end off and I just kind of bend it into um, the shape of the sign, if you will. So just kind of bending it so that it formed to the side of the sign. If that makes absolutely no sense, you can see what I'm doing here. And I go ahead and I glue down two pieces on either side with my Gorilla Hot Glue.
Next, I make a simple bow with my ribbon that I had in my stash. I felt that this one looked really good with the pattern. Now, I know y'all let me know, do you guys like the different patterns or would you have done a neutral color bow? I'm always curious to know what you guys think, but I thought that this, that this was super cute. So I just tied it in the middle with some jute. If you guys need to know how to make simple bows, I will leave you a tutorial in the cards in the right hand corner. But I just tie that in the middle with some jute, cut the excess jute off. I cut dovetails in the end and glued that to the middle of the greenery. Next, I'm going to take some raffia and I also made another simple bow and the easiest way to make bows with raffia is using the bow finger trick. Again, that will be in my bow tutorial if you guys are wondering how to do that. But the easiest way to make a bow with raffia is to twist it around and then do the bow trick and then I cut off the ends and glue that to the middle of my bow and last but not least. I took a little piece of jute on the back, glued that down for a little hanger. If y'all are super impatient like me and you do not want to wait for the glue to dry, all you have to do is lay a squeegee over top that glue and hold it down for a few seconds and it dries super quick plus you get a nice flat application and it just turns out really beautifully. I love the way that this sign turned out. I can't wait to hear what y'all think. For the last and final DIY, I'm going to take this shelf that I got from Timu. Now, it was I was going to use it as a hanging shelf, but then I got this super great idea and I'm going to show you what I came up with. So I start off by covering the holes with my lightweight spackling, once again drying that with my blow dryer and then sanding that spackling down smooth. Next, I'm going to take another wood round and surprise, surprise, I give it a distressed coat of my white Waverly chalk paint. As always, this step is optional. If you do not like dry brushing, you can totally skip this step. But if you guys have been around for any amount of time, then you know that I love my dry brushing. I love that rustic look. So I use my antique wax and a large chip brush that I get from Home Depot. And I just take the excess that's in the cap and I lightly dry brush all the way around my sign. And there's really no rhyme or reason. It's literally until your eyes are happy. So I start off really light handed and then I layer it to get the look that I'm going for. I set that aside and then I give this little shelf a good coat of my antique wax all the way around the edges as well. Now once this is completely covered, you have to be careful because this is a wax, it does get pretty sticky. So if you like how deep that color is, then definitely, definitely let this sit overnight to dry. However, I don't like that deep color. So I'm gonna take a few paper towels and I'm gonna wipe off the excess as best as possible. Thank you. 
Once that was completely dry, then once again, I used my chip brush to dry brush some white Waverly chalk paint all the way around this shelf, but I'm turning it into a sign. Once again, I start off really light-handed and then I layer my dry brushing to my liking. Once again, if you don't like it, leave it out. I get comments all the time like, I don't know why you dry brush everything. It's so ugly, blah, blah, blah. And I understand that it's not everybody's cup of tea, but it's my cup of tea. So I'm making home decor for my home, sharing it with you guys. If there is a step that you don't like, if there's a color you don't like, I welcome you to put your own spin on it. So once my dry brushing was dry, then I go ahead with that same farmhouse transfer. I mix up my white paste and then I just kind of dab the paste on my transfer. Now, I wish I wouldn't have done this because once I pulled it up, you could kind of see where I dabbed it on, which was no big deal to me because it's rustic decor any, anyway. However, if that annoys you, then I would just beware of that and just kind of dip your squeegee in your paste and then squeegee it on that way. But once I had my paste on my transfer, then obviously I went ahead and just transferred on the word farmhouse with the chicken. Now, I did have to be a little bit more careful with these transfers because they are a lot thinner than I'm used to working with. However, they did the job and it turned out absolutely gorgeous. So next, I'm going to take this wreath that I got from Timu once again at a crazy great price. Like, look at the quality of this wreath. And it was... 30% off of $6.48. So I'm not good at math. Don't get me lying to you, but I know that it was a steal. So the reason that I am, or I should say the reason that I painted the wood round is to glue it to the back of this wreath. And you're going to see why in a minute. But once I had the wood round glued to the back of the wreath, then I went ahead and laid my farmhouse sign on the front and glued that down on either side as well. I also wanted to mention not to forget to download the app, you guys. The Timu app is so fun. They have games. They have all kinds of fun stuff, um, ways to earn all kinds of coupons and trust me when I tell you that that app will have you down a rabbit hole so make sure you have some time because there's so much to look at but once I made a simple bow and glue that to the bottom of my wreath then last but not least y'all I was going to throw this frame away I had it for years from a previous project and Again, I was about to throw it away, and when I was doing this wreath, I was like, oh my goodness, how beautiful would that wreath with that sign be on this frame? So I went ahead and hot glued that down, and literally, look how gorgeous this turned out. That was it for this project. So simple and easy, plus cheap to make, and I love the end result. So let me know down in the comments which was your favorite project don't forget to shop timu and click the link down in the description box for 30 percent off or use my promo code much 597 i'll leave it up here on the screen for you again use my promo code much 597 for 30 percent off or use my link down in the description box below again i want to thank timu for sponsoring today's video i am so grateful and i can't wait to shop again as always for any ketone or chalk info or just to say hi text my number on the screen and with that being said if nobody has told you today you're absolutely stunning you're worthy you're gorgeous you literally can do anything you set your mind to and i'll catch y'all in the next one look out for that try on haul and i love y'all so much bye check out the videos that are popping up here to your left while you're waiting on my next upload or join the diy fam here to your right